It's Friday, June the 3rd, 2011. It's Friday, so that kicks ass, right? Because the weekend's coming. And welcome to my vlog. Absolutely gorgeous day out today. It's sunny out, there's no wind. Can't go wrong, right? Well, you could go wrong, but. Not a cloud in the sky. Nice blue skies. Don't know what's behind me. Probably a bunch of clouds, but I'm gonna pretend it's nice blue sky. It's supposed to go up to 18 degrees Celsius today, which should be nice, tolerable, you know, I like that. I'm really not a morning person, guys. <laughs> really not a morning person, but that's alright. Oh, uh, well, I'm not sure what's going on this weekend. I know the girlfriend's going to Wonderland tomorrow, so she's all excited for that. And I got stuff to do tomorrow. Actually, I'm thinking when I get home from work tonight, I'm gonna yank the battery out of the Trans Am, throw it on the charger again. Poor battery's probably just hates me. It's been recharged like so many freaking times. Let it charge up, and then, uh, I was told to try some stuff with my alternator because uh, uh, last night when I went to my buddy Chuck's house to fix his, his parents' computer, or I should say when I went to my buddy Chuck's parents' house to fix the parents' computer, uh, I was talking to his dad, his dad's a mechanic too, and he said it sounds like it's a, uh, oh, what the hell did he call it? The actuator, igniter, or something like that? Uh, part of the alternator that kicks it over to charge. He said it sounds like it's fouling and it's staying in charge mode even when the car's turned off, which basically keeps an open loop, which will just sap the battery. And if that, if he's right, then we'll say I gotta shell out for a new freaking alternator. Now the alternator I got in there is uh, it's a 200 amp at, uh, I think it's at idle. At, at uh, 500 RPM and at uh, 2000 RPM she charges at something stupid. It's like 290 amps or something like that. The reason why I got that is because of that big juicy stereo in the RS end, right? A lot of people out there are probably gonna say, oh, if you have a stereo, get some caps. Well, caps aren't exactly a good fix. Because if you think about how a capacitor works is, you know, they, they take time to charge and they discharge almost instantly. The moment you need power, she'll sap. So that means your alternator is always on, always charging. Sure, it's a good way to regulate power, but not really a good solution if you listen to a lot of bassy music. Now I don't, but... But what I've done with the car was I put the big alternator in it so that the battery's always topped up. I did the Magic 3, or the big, sorry, the, the big 3 wire upgrade. So you got 4 gauge running from the alternator to the battery, battery to ground, engine to ground. And that made a huge, well while I was working right, that made a huge difference. Yeah, that guy never had a power drain. I'd be, I could, I could listen to the bassiest music out there and the lights would never, would never strobe. So that worked out well, but alternators die, so. Oreo right now, there's a reflection coming off my screen aiming at the ground, I can't really show you. <laughs> but Oreo's chasing after it. <laughs> Silly puppy. This is funny. Uh, what a dog. But yeah, so I'll get that all fixed up and I'll get the car going soon. Are you being a rock, you stupid dog? He's so dumb. I'm surprised he has teeth left sometimes. But anywho, I need a shower. Then I gotta head her into work. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Alright, it's time to head into work, so let's pitter powder and get at her. I was just about to go through the Hortons when I saw the lineup was back to the road. Uh, yeah, screw that noise. I'll make a coffee at work. I really wanted a breakfast sandwich. Ah, oh, well. Sweet. I like that. Alrighty, I just went to Subway and got another one of those breakfast uh, sandwich things because I ate one yesterday and wow, did it somewhat make a difference. I wasn't hungry all day, that was for sure. And I like that. So I'm on my way to work. I got about nine minutes to make it in the office. Oh, so glad today's Friday and next week I'm on the night shifts because I friggin' hate waking up in the morning. Should be a law against that. If you're a computer guy, you're not a morning person. That's a given, but whatever. It's Friday, weekend's almost here. Awesome. All right, talk to you at the office. Well guys, it's break time and it's been brought to my attention that if you have a PC and you have the Steam gaming system installed, for this weekend and this weekend only, you can download Black Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops, and play for the weekend for free. So if you're interested, check it out, go get it, and maybe we'll play. Right, shift's over. You wanna see something really friggin' cool? All right, I got something. Got a little treat for you here. They do this every year for Heart and Stroke, and uh, it's a ginormous bike. And, oh, it's the Atlas Copco team. I wonder if my dad's on there. Let's go and, uh, I don't see this car anywhere, but let's see if he's on the bike. Captain, here today. Captain, here. Okay, Captain, put your hand up. And what is your name? Sorrel. Sorrel? Let's give her a big hand for putting this together. Thank you. We know it's a lot of work. 
start keeping it all together and keeping it going. All right, I'll put some music on. We'll go for a ride. No Justin My dad wasn't on that one, but that's the company he works for, is Atlas Copco, so I figured I would take a shot and see what's going on. So dad, if you watch this video, I just watch your bike go. How awesome is that, eh? <laughs> Alright, it's time to get this bucket of bolts home. The weekend is here. Let's do this. Home. I just finished watching some YouTubes, and I just watched Chris Perillo's Is It a Good Idea to Buy Extended Warranty, and I couldn't help myself. He just pulled a total Apple fanboy on me. Well, on everybody. Basically, he's going on saying that extended warranties aren't quite worth it because half the time the warranty is more expensive than a component that could go. Well, yes and no. But then he goes on saying, but you know, the Apple warranty, Apple Care, is definitely worth it. Well, here at Future Shop, you can go in there and you can either buy A, Apple Care for I don't even know what the price is, or B, the in house warranty. Now, with Apple Care, when it breaks, you gotta call Apple and set up transfers and they send you a box to ship your laptop off and all that. And it can be quite kind of a hassle, right? If you're dealing, if you're an old person with a Mac and you know, now you gotta sit there and get go to the Pure Later, pick up the box, load your Mac into the box, drill it out the door, back the Pure Later. It's, it's just bullshit where like for instance the future shop warranty your Mac breaks you bring it in with your warranty papers or they have it on file you give them the Mac they take care of all the bullshit running around for you you get your MacBook back and it's fixed I'm, I'm just I'm so fed up with the fanboyism of Chris Perillo that I, I can't do it anymore I, I can't I'm, I'm done I can't I can't deal with it I like Apple I like Windows Microsoft, whatever. They're both equally awesome. If you're a geek, you don't have a favorite. You like everything. There's an Oreo coming in picture. He's more of a PC guy. Him lately, he's been playing the uh, the, the PlayStation 3 network. Um, he wants to get Nintendogs for the Wii, but I told him no. Anyway, if you're a true geek, you don't have a preference over Apple over PC. You have a love for technology and the story. That's the way I see it. But anywho, we're heading to the mall. I just wanted to rant about that because I'm completely pissed off. Um, so, yeah, um, uh, we're heading to the mall, so let's friggin' do we it. just came to the mall, I got some allergy pills, and I come out to my car, we get inside the car, and the girlfriend notifies me that there's something stuck on my friggin' windshield. Unfreaking believable. Okay, Rex, I know you're craving subscribers, but do you have to canvas the friggin' mall too? First you put the subscribe to Rex 4x4 in the shitters at Tim Hortons. Now you're canvassing people's cars with ripped off envelopes? Come on! Come on! Can't do that. Well, it's about 9 o'clock. In another hour I'm going to head over to the Hortons. Meet up with Adrian, Cat Piss. I think Jesus Legs Double O is going to be there. Uh, Night K, Christina, Night K22, and uh, yeah, we can do the coffee. I asked Rex if he was coming out, but he's got to work, so Rex 4x4 will not be there. I don't know if Matt's going to be there. Matt Van, uh, I'm not even sure what the hell this YouTube username is. Matt Van Veed or something like that. Uh, I'll have to look it up, but uh, I don't think he's going to be there. So yeah, I'm um, going to head over to the Hortons, meet up with the guys. Have some coffees, just chill out and do some chatting. Uh, I don't know, I might vlog in there, I might not. Last time, last couple times I went, I never vlogged because uh, we don't really talk about or do anything interesting. Uh, we kind of talk about like our seeing and shit, and yeah. But uh, should be should be interesting. Yeah, we might even have guests. So I'm just out for a cigarette. I just played the Black Ops Call of Duty uh, demo. To avoid getting dicked over by YouTube, I'm not going to put any gameplay footage in that, and uh, I don't want to be that embarrassed when you guys see how bad I suck at the game. I am the worst multiplayer friggin' shoot 'em up. Unless it's Counter Strike, forget it, I suck. So, yeah, check out that. I'll put a link. Actually, I don't even need to put a link. Just uh, go to Steam and get the Steam client, and you can go download it free for the weekend and play the living piss out of it multiplayer. And let's just say, 
there's a lot of good players out there, or I'm just a really bad player. One of the two. But uh, it's a fun game. I had fun with it, but I don't. I don't know if I want to buy it. I'd rather buy it for the console, I think, because a lot more of you guys play it on Xbox, and I'm better with an Xbox controller in that game for some reason. I can't figure out why. But uh, yeah, good times. So we're heading to the Hortons later. I'll talk to you then. We're down here at the Hortons. Yeah. Hey, so, so, so. so we're down here at the Hortons. We got Ginger Vlogs walking behind me. Hello. She's over there somewhere. There she is. Adrian. Christina. Hi. And apparently Jesus legs double O's on his way over. Not sure where he is. He'll be here soon. Right, well, like I said, uh, we don't really do much YouTubing at Hortons anymore. Not even sure why I bother mentioning that I go there, but there you go. We're at the Hortons, and all we do is just talk and shoot the shit. Just typical Horton stuff. And yeah, it's about uh, yeah 1.30 in the morning. Time to come home. So let's uh, pitter-patter and get at her and get home. Yeah, it's almost 2 in the morning. I'm going to shut the vlog down here. So if you like today's video, you know the spiel. Go ahead and hit the like button, because you know me, I love it when you hit the like button. Let me know you like the video, and I really like that. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything you saw in today's video, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. I'll be sure to answer. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging.